Hello, this is Don Powell from the Rugged Android team. This is part two of our three-part video discussing provisioning for Honeywell barcode enrollments. The three files that are needed for this are your Honeywell service, your AirWatch agent, and your credential bin. If you are uncertain how to attain your credential bin, there is a separate video discussing this topic. But before we get into the configuration, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the design flow. What we're doing is uploading those three files to a location where we can access over the internet from the device. Once those are uploaded, we're going to capture those share links to use for our configuration. Once complete, the barcode will then be generated. The device is then used to scan the barcode and upon successfully decoding that information it will then point to that location where the files have been saved. The device is also given instructions of what to do with those files. For this guide I'll be using my storage from the console. I'm simply dragging and dropping those files to my storage. I'm going to then open my notepad out of pure convenience of editing these file names. I'm now making those files accessible and copying the link to my notepad for further modification. Slight modifications to the link includes adding a forward slash followed by the file name exactly as it is. Once complete, we shall open that EXM sample template to make modifications. The next step is to copy that path for the credential bin. The EXM template has five tasks. The first task is for the credentials. The second is for the service and the last three are for the agent. Copy each path to the appropriate source field.
Once the changes are made, you will then generate your barcode. Save this barcode to the appropriate location. Your barcodes are now ready to be scanned. In the third and final video, I'll be actually showing you the enrollment. Again, this is Don Powell from the Rugged Android team. See you then.